Well, good evening everyone. I hope you are all doing well. Welcome to a new Tenerife live stream in Las Americas. It is of course evening time. The sun has just gone down. And we're just gonna take a little bit of a one that's just a bonus stream this one. Uh, being down here doing a little bit of work. I've got to meet up with the clients and things like that. So I thought I've got a nice little slot I can jump on. Uh, I didn't have a vlog prepared. So I thought we'd have a little bit of a bonus stream. We'll see what the weather's doing. I'll discuss the weather today and just see what the uh, general vibe is like. It's normally good down here, isn't it? We might also go for a little drink somewhere. So if any of you've got any ideas, I think of maybe a little hard rock or something like that, a little rooftop or a OA beach maybe. So if you think of anywhere that we should uh, stop and have a little drink, let me know. But welcome along, bonus stream here in Las Americas. So today the weather did take a bit of a turn. It's been very, very warm. It's been 25 and a half degrees all day. However, it has been this sort of overcastness that you can see there. We've had a Kalima in, it's been a bit breezy, a bit dry. And there also quite a strong smell of the smoke this morning, uh, all throughout Los Cristianos, that's for sure. Las Americas as well, you could really smell uh, the smoke from the fire. But that all smell seems to have cleared away this afternoon. But yeah, the weather in general, it hasn't been fantastic today, but it has been very warm 25 and a half so it's been uh, almost a little bit stuffy in some ways and we didn't get a sunset because it is so uh, thick the Kalima we'll head to the beachfront and I'll show you what's happening down there and then we'll have a little wander along the uh, Golden Mile uh, welcome along everyone I hope you're all doing well thanks for joining me last minute one this so uh, all of you tuned in well done you got your notifications turned on you're all subscribed and uh, good to go H10 conquested all there. Uh, what is a Kalima? So a Kalima is, um, it's like sand and very fine dust that blows over from the Sahara. So when they get a lot of winds and some of these storms that come across the Atlantic, it does uh, whip up a lot of that Sahara desert and it does come across uh, to the islands and it creates this very dusty haze. It almost looks overcast and it's not. Uh, it makes your hands feel really dry. If you've got asthma, you can feel it a little bit on your breathing sometimes. So yeah, it just makes everything very dry. Um, you don't really get a fresh breeze. It's like a, well, sometimes like a hair dryer on you on the heat setting. Uh, evening, Debbie, how's it going? Cheryl, how's it going? Pauline Cossage, thank you very much for the super chat. Afternoon, hope you're well. I uh, hope you are all doing very well. Thank you for joining me. And as I said, it's just nice to be out and about in Las Americas. And, uh, of course, everyone loves the Las Americas live stream. How can you not enjoy a Las Americas live stream? So yeah, evening vibes. Let's go for a little wonder. We've got a crowd joining us here. There's some names popping up. Rob, how's it going? There's some names popping up in the chat that don't manage to make some of our other streams. So it's great to have you all on because they're not everyone can make the afternoon ones. Uh, Jessica, for example, there, I haven't seen you on some of the afternoon ones for a while. So everyone has all different schedules. It's nice to pop on and catch some of you that don't always manage to tune in so yeah welcome along good evening happy monday and cheer you all up the sun has just gone down although there was no sunset normally you would see lagomera just here but barely see it today it's uh, that thick the kalima that haziness a bit of cloud it's a really strange day and then we had a few spots of rain in los cristianos this morning and then that stopped it's really weird weather today however the good news is they have said by midday tomorrow we should start to see the Kalima move away and the weather get back to normal but I didn't see anyone complaining it was still 26 degrees all day so I'll tell you what was really busy we uh, popped to I popped to Siam Mall to pick up a couple of bits I needed to do and um, Siam Park was very busy today from what I could see very busy it was a good day for it couldn't get sunburned but it was really warm to be out there so yeah it was good good to see it so busy right we've got 689 tuned in thank you for joining me here we are then on the beachfront metropolis busy as always in there we're gonna head down this way towards the golden mile still a couple of surfers in the water It's nice to bring you some of the winter vibes that uh, if you're in the UK, it's cold. I mean, people are still out surfing. We've got the guy setting up with his guitar there. He's going to play a little bit of music for everyone. 
Everyone's still down on the promenade. Uh, hi Nick, hi David, I'm good, thank you very much. Thanks for tuning in. Hi Dale, uh, Paula as well, flying out on Saturday. Uh, the weather app's all saying something different. I, I wouldn't worry too much looking so far in advance. With us being an island, the, the weather systems can change so quickly. So I wouldn't stress too much about it. You can look one day and then look a few days later and it's completely different with the, the weather systems that we get, the microclimates that we get. You can be sunny down here in Las Americas and cloudy by the airport. It, it varies so much. Can you show Park Santiago 3? I will uh, give you a little look at that in a moment. So yeah, all of the south there nicely lit up. That's all Costa Adeki you can see in the distance. All lit up nicely. Uh, always at work at the daytime streams, but uh, always watch on catch up. I know a lot of you watch on catch up, and I really do appreciate that. The, uh, the numbers show that. But it's good to have you on uh, live as well for the, the people who can never join us here and now. Uh, other than that, it's been a good little busy day uh, in work. Uh, the, uh, we had a, a new staff member start. That's gone well so far. I was up and down to the airport, which is steadily busy. And yeah, just out and about a little bit today. I met you in the Bank Steakhouse in September. How's it going, Steve? Met some lovely subscribers in Vegas Grill last night. We went with Laura's mum and dad for a Vegas Grill, which was uh, banging as always, fillet steak. First live, how's it going, GT? How's it going? Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, nice to see your weather. It is a lot better than in Glasgow, yeah. We really can't complain at all. Uh, did you meet by the cab when they came to Buddies? I didn't. I wasn't in. Laura mentioned something. I think it might have been them. But I've, I've not been in. I can't make it every single night just with my own work commitments and stuff. Uh, does Siam Night start in July? It does indeed. Normally the, the, first, the very first weekend of July, Siam Night begins. Or Yes, yeah, two months it's on for. Um, so yeah, get on that as soon as that starts. I will, of course, do a vlog as we always do. It's uh, Siam Night. So Kalima translates to haze, there you go. Did have a little bit of haze going on today. Uh, Phil here had a great week in December. Miss our evening walks. Uh, keep bringing us these great views. Very, thank you very much for tuning in. It's just a little, as I say, I like these little bonus streams. This is an escape from work for me. So I've been inundated with emails. Etc. So it's nice to come out and stretch my legs. I sit in cars all day in the office all day, so this is a great little walk for me. Uh, the latest video mentions your bar, which they upload tonight. Ah, okay, I'll uh, check that out. Thank you very much. And we'll have a little look see. And if, uh, if any of you are watching actually in Buddy's Bar at the moment, how's it going? I don't know whether Laura put us up on the screen because there's no sports tonight. So, uh, hello everyone in Buddies, if you tuned in. My favourite shop, of course, in the world. Bespoke purely to Las Americas. There's no, none anywhere else other than here. You'll, you'll only find another one of them probably 50 yards down the road. So, if you see one, get in there quick. <laughs> oh dear. Bad jokes. Coming out Saturday, can't wait. Fantastic. The hotels and wandering around Siam Mall today, one thing we did notice was that all the different nationalities in there. Germans, Scandinavians. I went in Starbucks and there must have been about 10 different nationalities in Starbucks. So the island is super busy, not just with Brits though, with, with all kinds which is fantastic, a really nice variation. Uh, you're very committed to your channel. I, I enjoy what I do, Liam. I love what I do, so if you enjoy it, 
then of course you want to keep doing it more and more so as i've said this is my bit of escapism as much as it is yours so thank you all very much for joining me uh, john says ignore the weather apps i just enjoyed a few weeks in tenerife and none of the weather apps were right there you go i tell you probably the most accurate thing to uh, check the weather with is the uh the online webcams which they've got on most beaches right across the island you can tune in and see what's happening in the north santa cruz las americas costa radecki los chris and you can tune into those anytime see what the weather is like a lot of you do tune in to see exactly what people are wearing as well so you will see plenty of people still in shorts and t-shirts because although it may look a bit cool it's still 23 degrees as i parked up just there so here's your park santiago 4 a uh, class if you're watching oh you asked about building work previously in the last live stream i can't see any form of building work or anything going on from here whether it's going on inside but from here and visually you cannot see any building work going on hi from canada wow thank you very much for tuning in how's it going uh, have the police cracked down on pickpockets and attacks on tourists? Uh, not particularly on pickpockets. I know down here uh, on, I think it was, what night would it have been? Saturday night? Saturday night, yeah. On Saturday, they had a bit of a crackdown on all the sellers. The police were up and down here all day and all night. The sellers kept having to grab all the stuff and run and hide and everything. So there was a bit of a crackdown down here on that on Saturday night. Uh, the hair braiders and everything but in terms of pickpockets and things there's been no crackdown i'd say it's calmed down now the christmas two weeks hype has has finished it might have calmed down a bit but they're still around they're gonna be here all winter here all year so look after yourself look after your stuff be aware and you'll be fine but people do switch off just look after yourselves the reason that it is increased over here a lot of people say but well, it happens everywhere it happens where in my hometown it can happen anywhere and you're very right however your hometown isn't purely reliant on tourists and isn't a hot spot for tourists so Tenerife is just so saturated with tourism and tourists especially right now that they come over it's pickpocketers paradise over here rental cars full with stuff I mean, everywhere you look is rental cars in england you couldn't tell which car was a rental and which wasn't come to tenerife there's a rental car on every single parking lot multiple of them there's tourists everywhere they're all switched off they're all in holiday mode so that's why it is increased over here Hello, Andrew. for that reason how's it going you okay good, mate. Good. Nice to see you. you too all yeah, good nice having a good time good yeah of course no problem you having a nice time yeah lovely time just been tracking you on the thing Thank there you, you go. Where are you staying? Uh, Gov de Sol. Okay. Um, what was it called? The Fairway Village. Ah, another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not far nice from the golf course. Yeah. How long are you here for? I'm leaving tomorrow. Right. But I'm coming back again 5th of February. Oh, nice. Can't be bad. Yeah, I'm coming back for my birthday. I'm trying to spend my birthday over here. Fantastic. So how long will you be over for when you come back? Two weeks again. Fantastic. Nice. <laughs> staying in the same place or are you mixing it up? In the area, the same, but a different apartment. Right. Yeah. Because I like to check them all, and at the minute, I've got the best one was the Wyndham Park. Uh, right. Expensive, but at least, you know, you've got yeah. air conditioning and everything. And you're here for your birthday. Where are you from? Uh, originally from Poland, but I live in the UK. Live in the UK. Years. Fantastic. I've been already on one of your. Uh, okay, I did, uh, I did okay. say I do recognise you. I've been uh, on the way down from, uh, as you come down to the uh, Pizza Hut. Yeah. Pizza Hut. The Indian, the Tandoori hut. Sorry. Yes. Uh, you were going down with Laura, and I was just going up, and uh, we were talking about because you were giving the updates online about the uh, pandemic. Yes. Back then. That was literally when we just recovered from. The, the yeah, yeah, it just started again. Yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah, so that, that was a while ago. That would have been two two years, two years ago. ago. Yeah, it goes quick, doesn't it? Subscribed ever since. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, hopefully I'll see you again. If I don't, have a wonderful birthday when you come have back. A good evening and uh, all the best with you your too. Buddies, Thank man. you very much. Appreciate Lovely to you. meet you. Have a great night. And you too. Thank you. Ah, oh, there you go. Lovely gentleman. If you do see me around, come and say hello. But yeah, as I was saying, that's why I think it's, it's so increased over here. And it's so saturated. And it is happening every single day. So uh, do look after yourselves. Do be careful. 
Now, speaking of that gentleman there, he's got a JD Sports bag. That's one little update I can bring to you, is that one of the massive units that they've newly built in Siam Mall is gonna be a JD Sports. Now, for me, I was a bit like, meh. Massive unit next to the Starbucks on the second level. I thought it was gonna be a nice restaurant or a few different shops or it's a JD Sports, which there's another one of, just opened on uh, in Las Americas on the Veronica Strip. So I don't know why we need two in the same area, but that's one of them. I don't know what the others are gonna be, but yeah, one of the big new ones on the second level is gonna be a big JD Sports. Let me know your thoughts on that, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I suppose there's a demand for it and it is a bit of a pull for Siam Mall, a big name like JD Sports, but do we need one? I'd have rather seen some restaurants or something going on, but. Uh, snowing in Aberdeen, wow. Must be a little bit cold over there, just tuned in. How's it going, Angie? We got 1,132 tuned in, amazing numbers for a last minute live. Do please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. There's thousands of videos on the channel already. And uh, we do normally try and get a video up every single day. Coming over in June, how far is the Marola Portis in from the beach? Not too far, not too far. So we've got Hard Rock Cafe coming up on the right. We could have a little drink on the rooftop of there, or we can carry on walking, or we can find somewhere else for a drink. You can help me decide, let me know. You can have a little look at the second uh, floor of the Safari Centre. Some of those restaurants that are very popular. Uh, have you any trips planned? Not, I'm working on a couple of things, working on a couple of things. But you know me, until they're happening, I, I don't even discuss them. Until something's a definite, there's no point even talking about it. So yeah, they've got the rooftop on the second floor of the Hard Rock Cafe, which is really good to know and really nice. They do a um, happy hour as well up there, I think from five till seven. Uh, so yeah, that second floor, if you just want to go up for a drink and a cocktail, you can do, and it looks down on the fountain. It's a nice place for a drink. I was up there the other night with Laura's mum and dad. So yeah, would you, I would say there's a, there is a lot less, um, sellers out and about by the looks of it less of all those blankets laid out everywhere isn't there since the crackdown on saturday definitely less of all the footy shirts and hats and all that laid all over the floor so whether that made a difference and there's quite a few down there though this is the thing this crackdown that they do if you come for a day they all run away and everything they're all back again the night within an hour uh, please go in hard rock, I might do in a little bit. See how we get on. Let's go up the second floor here. And I'll have a little look down around some of these bars and restaurants up the top. How are you? Good, thank you. Are you? Um, fine. I watch your program every day. Thank I you very much. I'm in London. Yeah. And I came uh, Tuesday. I'm here for five weeks. Five weeks? Yeah. Wow. Where are you staying? Columbus. Very for the nice. The past 10 years I've been coming to Columbus. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they look after us, so I book, uh, every time I come, I book for the next year. Nice, and, nice. Uh, no, excellent. Any particular plans while you're over for five weeks? Any restaurants you're going to or anything? Yeah, we've been to quite a few every year. We try different ones. Yeah. And uh, mostly they're all good, you know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we, we've been to... One in uh, the Indian restaurant, you've been there. Tandoori Hut? Tandoori Hut, we just came from there. Ah, you've been there tonight? Yeah, yeah. Do you enjoy it? There. Yeah, very good. Good. Very good. Yeah. good. So good. They looked nice. after you, yeah? Yeah. Good. So, and how's the uh, buddy the bar going on? Yeah, all good. Busy, busy. We're open seven days a week now, so yeah, it's busy. It's good. Uh, all good, so thank you very much. Good, no. Yeah. yeah I've uh, booked uh, with you car hire in September. Okay. So, yeah, no yeah, problem. Yeah. And Fantastic. How's your mum and dad? All good, thank you. They're hoping, they're hoping to come back over in the next few months, so we'll see. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're cold at home at the moment. Yeah, very Freezing. cold. Yeah. <laughs> Minus five in London today. Wow. Yeah. And, and it was 25 here, so that's a 30 degree difference. Good. Yeah, yeah. Very Jeez. Good. 
we came on the Tuesday and the today was cloudy. Yeah. But apart from that, it's been really good weather. Yeah, yeah. Very it should start to clear up again and go nice tomorrow yeah. afternoon yeah. and then the day after. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow we are going to Porto Santiago. Where to Santiago, big, nice. Yeah, day trip. And yeah. We love their the restaurant uh, near the beach, uh, fish bar. And we really good fish. They grill nice fish. Fresh fish. Yeah. yeah. And we love it. We go every year. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, it looks well, like you're just, excited to be just, here, which is good. I just got switched on and I saw you. I yeah, thought, there you go. Oh, that's good timing. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect timing. Well, it was have lovely nice to meet you. you. And I'll, I'll definitely see you again in September. I'll see you again. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you out and about. Bye. Thank you. Oh, what a lovely gentleman. Out for five weeks. That can't be bad, can it? Five weeks in Tenerife. What's the longest any of you have stayed in Tenerife for? on holiday. Let's have a little look at these uh, restaurants up here. One of our favorites, the Thai Pan. Love it in there, especially for the teppanyaki table. So it's uh, very busy in there. Busy indeed. As always, always is. And then of course, Bianco's always very busy. Hard to get in there without a reservation. Hi, yeah, you okay? How you mate, you all right? All good. Yeah, all good, thank you very all much. Right. Good. Back open tomorrow, yeah? Back open normal party tonight. Enjoy. Should be good. You all right? Yeah, all good, thank you very much. Oh, nice. So that is that is Jack from the Three Amigos group. So they have GG's, uh, Chicago's, and Casey's Bar in Los Cristianos. So they are closed tonight for their big staff night out. So they're all in Bianco's for their little Christmas uh, party, Christmas meal, which is nice. I do like the views from up here though. You can watch everything going on. The cellars, the taxis, people walking. Good for people watching up here. And then a nice view of the fountain as well. There you go, Mick's on. How's it going, Mick? Uh, let's see, coming over on the 20th of September. Hope to see you there, I'm sure you will do. Sitting with the heat on, full blast. Uh, hopefully this is warming you up. Some nice uh, evening vibes from uh, Las Americas this evening. We'll take a wander around if we can. I don't think we're going to get through Harry's Bar though. It's very busy in there. But there's a couple of restaurants the other side. You've got an Italian, you've got a Mexican. Uh, there's an Indian there and also another prime steakhouse. Now yeah, we'll just sit here for a minute. And I'll answer some of your questions while we have a view of the fountain. I hope you're getting those nice uh, sounds of the fountain as well there. Stayed at Tenerife Royal Gardens for a month in August 2016. Very nice, Lorraine. Took my mum to Bianco for Christmas Day. Uh, it was lovely, would recommend you book, definitely got a book way in advance, way in advance. That's the same for any of the Venture restaurants, definitely got to make a reservation way in advance. Uh, what's your opinion on Everton being charged again? It's uh, very disappointing. I won't go too much into detail, but it certainly uh, seems to be one rule for one and... Uh, one for the others. Funny how it's always the uh, so-called smaller clubs getting done, isn't it? But the big ones, the uh, the big six, aren't being touched at all, are they? Here's us building a big new stadium, loads of jobs, loads of money coming in. Trying to get more money into the club to buy more players, compete. I know, little old Everton can't do that, but Chelsea, they can go and spend a billion quid, no problem. Well, we will move on. We will move on from there, that topic. That's it, there you go. It was a lovely view, that. Lovely view. All right, we're going to carry on around then. There we've got Empire Steakhouse, another one of my favourites. I love the steak and ale pudding in there. Let's continue a little wonder. Let's go and find a little drink somewhere maybe as well. Uh, do please hit the thumbs up if you're just joining. Oh, 
I am debating a little drink in the hard rock. But we could find another one somewhere else. Let me know what you think. Should we stop for a drink or should we carry on walking? Do let me know. It's a good vibe out here, that's for sure. Yeah. Cheesecake in Empire is amazing. The one thing I always tend to go for in Empire recently is the, uh, the little fondue donuts. The little um, fondue marshmallows, I should say. They have donuts as well. But you can get marshmallows and roast them and dip them in the chocolate and they're amazing. Uh, drinking the hard rock, go for a hard rock. Uh, quite a few people saying about the hard rock. I'll have a quick look at the bars here on uh, the Park La Paz strip and then we'll make a decision. See, so they're gathering everything up, so have they been, have they been tipped off the police are coming again? Or are they setting up again? Who knows? Don't forget if you are interested in the Med Palace Hotel, this one here, it's looking fantastic, but it's still a mile away. It was due to open in March, and uh, it's now been delayed until June. I think even June is a bit of a push myself, but that's the new date they've given. June for this uh, Med Palace to open again. This was the hotel that was all blue, if anyone remembers. Completely changed, it looks, looks fantastic. They're getting uh, doing a really nice job on it, but it's a long way away. I had a lovely cold dorada in Buddy's rooftop bar last week. I met the lovely Claudia and Laura, fantastic genuine people and great service. Thank you very much, John. Much appreciated. So it's currently temperature wise, it's a very nice 23 degrees just now, 22, 23. Will cool down a little bit more, but it's still very warm. Let's have a look, see if anything's happening in these before we uh, go and find a little drink. I am meeting up with someone at eight o'clock-ish, so we've got plenty of time to enjoy a bit more of a wander if you all want me to. Uh, did new member of staff join Buddies today? No, the new member of staff joined Sanasti today. We're just trying to bump up the staff numbers. Which is easier said than done, that's for sure. Highlander, always busy in there, always, without fail. Soul Suites, I think, is closed tonight, is it? I think the Soul Suites is closed for now, maybe opening a bit later on. Yeah, it'll be opening later on, Soul Suites. Hole in the wall. Yeah, they're all pretty, pretty quiet at this time, but after dinner, Come half nine, ten, these will all fill up a little bit. When the entertainment comes on, everyone's been out for their meals. Uh, been back for a week. It's Brassic in Hull, only 28 sleeps uh, till I can have another Laura Collada. Fantastic, thank you very much. Not long to go. Uh, I don't think it's going to rain, no. There's a few little spits of rain this morning in Lost Chris, but don't think so. It should be clearing up by at midday tomorrow is what they've said, fingers crossed. Uh, the fire is still burning. Uh, they've got diggers on it from what I can see now. They've got uh, big diggers trying to turn over. What it is, it's a massive, it's a massive composting site. So as you can imagine, what's caught fire is very combustible and is, uh, pretty flammable so it's constantly burning it's a massive mound of it so the diggers are in turning over all of the the land and the soil and what's burning but it's still making a lot of smoke it is still burning it was burning really strong and red last night when I drove past it from the airport when it was dark it was glowing red a mile away on the motorway so it's still burning but it seems to be contained and they're just letting that section that's on fire sort of burn if that makes sense it's not spreading it's that same one area, but I think there's that much stuff to burn through. It's still going on. I did see massive diggers there turning over all the ground. So they seem to be sort of letting it just burn out. But it is still going, but thankfully it's not spreading. The helicopters are not flying over it anymore. They're not, they don't seem to be 
dropping any water on it or anything. It seems to just be a bit of a controlled burnout, really. But you could certainly smell the smoke this morning. I kept sneezing in work. You could uh, certainly smell it. So, let's go and try and have a drink in the Hard Rock. Because there's music, I will have to mute the microphone as I go in. And then I'll unmute it when I get up to the top uh, terrace. Hopefully we can get a, a spot and have a little drink up there. We've got good views. I'll show you the drinks menu up there as well. It is one of our favourite little places to go. I know Hard Rock is a chain. But the cocktails are good. You do get a good service. You do get a good view. A bit of music as well if you're into music. There was a... There's quite, quite often live music up there now as well. Yeah, it's a good little atmosphere down here tonight. As always, always is down here. If you want your holiday vibes, get yourself down here. We've got 1,400 tuned in. Do please hit the thumbs up. Welcome along. If you're new to the channel, uh, I am Andrew. I do live here in South Tenerife. So do a lot of these videos, normally a video every single day goes up on the channel. We've got thousands already, excursions, restaurants, We've covered most of the restaurants in this area on the channel uh, in different videos and vlogs. Um, there's absolutely all kinds, so do check it out. Uh, but for now, I noticed as well one big change here. Look at this. Clear as a bell. The five bracelet guys that are normally here are not here tonight for the first time in months. So maybe something did happen on Saturday. Interesting. They were here on Saturday. I walked past them twice going in and out. It's normally like four or five of them sort of congregate here with the usual I like your shoes and all that but uh, none tonight which is interesting right let's make our way in I've got to mute the right microphone for a minute so bear with me you haven't lost sound I've just got to mute it just while we go through with the music let me uh, pop you on mute for Okay everyone, welcome to the rooftop then. I've just managed to get myself a little table here. I will try and get one of those ones just at the front there in a little while as well. So we can have a look at the view, but it's a good little spot for me this. I've ordered a little Corona, I'm gonna have a cheeky Corona. That right, is nice up here, it's, uh, it's dead chill. They've got a little stage area there with the live music. We'll, uh, in a minute we might move over and have a little look, see if we can get some, uh, some views for you in a minute. Uh, gives a lot of info in his vlogs. Uh, do my best, if that applies to me. I don't even know. I've missed a load of comments here. But I do my best to give as much info as I can for people to see if they fancy different places. This will be right up some people's street. This will be the complete opposite of what people are looking for. But we do a whole variation. Uh, let's see. Are you sporting cloud shoes there? I am indeed. I mean, the new Cloud Swifts, which are really comfy, actually. Really comfy. Um, Hard Rock Hotel is out on a limb. It is a little bit. It is a little bit. The Hard Rock Hotel is in a completely different location to the Hard Rock Cafe. Uh, so the hotel is a little bit. Uh, it's in um, Playa Paraiso. So it's a little bit out of the way. Uh, are kids allowed in the Hard Rock? Yes, absolutely no problem. They've got a full kids menu. We come here quite often uh, with the Incredible Wilsons. 
and uh, they have Seb has the, something off the kids menu all the time so I can't see anything that says no kids allowed up here at all just says rooftop so I absolutely do believe you can bring the kids up no problem Hard Rock's always a family family restaurant so it's uh, no problem with that uh, we moved hotels fantastic Nicola I think you've moved from the Hard Rock is what you mean uh, how is Airbnb for the first time? I've never booked Airbnb over here, so I couldn't really say. I'm not sure. I know that the, the government are having a massive crackdown on apartments. There's a lot of fines being handed out for people who are uh, renting on Airbnb incorrectly or not giving their apartment to the letting agent that they should uh, on complexes. So some complexes have rental apartments. You have to do it through the letting agent. People aren't doing it. They're doing it themselves on Airbnb. And the government are cracking down now. They've been giving out fines for that. Um, so yeah, be, 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 I'd be mindful that there is a lot of Airbnbs over here that are not rental apartments. They will be on a private residential complex, so they shouldn't really be on there. That's up to you. Um, but I know they are having a bit of a crackdown. They're having a bit of a crackdown on it. Uh, what's parking like at the Iberia Star Sabia? Difficult, but they have got their own car park, so I think there's a small charge for it, uh, but they've got their own parking. If you're going to try, try and park on the street, you're going to struggle. It's all a one-way system, but they have got their own car park, which is what most of our clients use. Uh, afternoon, hope you're well. I'm all good. Thank you, Pauline. Thank you very much for the super chat earlier as well. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining me. We've... Uh Still got, even sat back here, we've got some nice views. I might go and take that seat in a minute that that lady's just taking it, so I'll let them sit there. But if something comes available, I'll go to the front row. But it's uh, quite nice just sitting out the way. I don't like disturbing people, so. Uh, we got a quote for, for a car from you. We're staying in Park Santiago for, uh, would we struggle for parking? Again, this is all a, a one-way street. You can't really park on the street here, but there is some street parking around. Again, what most people do in the hotels on the strip here, is they will go in the underground if they can't get on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much. So this is the name of where we are. So it's called The Top. Uh, so this is the rooftop bar above the restaurant. Um, and I did have a cheeky dessert in here the other day. So you can actually have a little bit of a bite to eat up here. So yeah, most people, if they can't park on the street round here, they park in the undergrounds, which are about 10 or 15 euros for a day nothing too too crazy uh, how much is car rental for a day it depends on the season the size how long you're taking it for what a lot of people do is they get a price from us for one or two days and then they go oh but i've seen a poster down the road that says car rental from 17 euros a day that 17 euros a day will be their lowest lowest daily price if you're taking the car for like two weeks if you're only taking it for one or two days the price is quite probably double that quite a bit more so people go, oh, but I can get it for 17 euros down the road per day. That's their per day price. If you're taking at least a week, possibly two weeks. If you're only taking a few days, the price rate changes. So that's the most common thing we get is people come in and they'll have seen a poster down on the beachfront that says car rental from 10 euros a day. A lot of those won't include insurance. And that daily price will be based on if you take a week, two weeks, three weeks. If you're only taking a day or two, the price rate will be completely different, so uh, do bear that in mind. Uh, if you do want a quote from Sanasti, by the way, which is what I do over here, car rental, sanasti.com, uh, send me an email, I will send you a quote. You can have it delivered to the hotels here in Las Americas, Adaki, Los Cris. You can pick it up in Los Cristianos at our office, or you can pick them up and return them at the South Airport. We've got a very speedy, fast system that avoids all the queues, all the hard selling, all of that. You can avoid all of that. Uh, mad that you're sat there sipping a cold drink yet. I've uh, got my polo on, it's lovely and warm, 23 degrees. Happy Monday everyone. Oh nice. Uh, Orcas are high with Andrew when I come out and the price is great, no silly add-ons either. There's a lot of the companies now are, I mean each to their own, whichever way you want to do it, but they're taking massive deposits. I don't know how they take a deposit so big. Some of them are taking two or three thousand euros deposit, which blows my mind. Two or three thousand euros blocked on a card. Um, 
it just depends, just shop around. There'll be a charge point when I get there. I honestly don't think hiring an EV over here is uh, advisable for the next year or so at least. Uh, we do have seven seaters, yeah. We've got manual and automatic in the seven seaters. Uh, 1483 tuned in, thank you for joining me. Happy Monday. Either way, I'll show you the little view for a moment. This is the view that you've got from up here. We could sit ourselves just here and have a look at the view. I think that's what we might do. All right, just bear with me, guys. Okay, I'm back. There we go. Just grab my drink and look at that for a view. Very nice. Laura Emmett, thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, me and Anthony debating on booking for April. Don't know. Uh, hope you and Laura are doing well. Laura, my advice to you, I'm going to say it to everyone. Get it booked. Get it booked. Get on Skyscanner. Do a bit of shopping around. You don't have to panic, but this week, get it booked. Have something to look forward to. It's nice to have something in the bank to uh, work towards. Keeps you going in work. When you're having those rubbish days in work, you've got a holiday to work towards. So if you can, if you're in the position to, get it booked, Emma. Uh, your vlogs are very informative and you're becoming a great ambassador for Tenerife. Keep going. Thank you very much. Just uh, out and about, showing bits and bobs, a bit of positivity and showing you what's available here in Tenerife as well. If you do ever do have any questions, I will do my best to answer them. I can't guarantee I know the answer, but I'll do my best. Uh, let's see. Hi, David. How's it going? David Butler's on. Uh, Catherine's on as well. There's a little nice view of the fountain, isn't it? Now, those lights, tell me if I'm wrong. I'm sure those lights on Harry's bar here are new. Sure they are. Sure they are new. Could be wrong though. Uh, coming up in October for my dad's 60th. Fantastic, Danny. October, busy month, so wherever you're going to take your dad for his 60th birthday. Nice meal out or something. Book it in advance. A few weeks in advance, get it booked. Uh, what would your advice be for driving over there as never driven in a country? So I've got a whole vlog on that, Maria. Driving tips and tricks in Tenerife. It's on the channel. Uh, I show you about parking, I show you little tips and tricks on the road, things to look out for, things to look out for when you're hiring a car, uh, a bit of information on my car hire itself. So that video is on the channel, it explains a lot of the road rules, parking rules, general things. So do check that video out, it's on the channel, it's had a lot of views actually, 35,000 views I think. So just search for driving tips Tenerife or driving Tenerife and it will come up. Um, Great view. It is a nice view up here, isn't it? You can see everything going on. You can see the taxis, people out and about, bit of people watching. There you go, people getting their pictures in front of the fountain all on the way out. Uh, we just booked yesterday, coming over 28th of May for a week. Very nice, staying in the best this time. That's the one, I believe, is just over there is the best hotel. You can see it lit up just there. Uh, with the lights not red previously, maybe maybe they changed the colours or there you go, the little trains going by. Vegas Grill for his 60th, fantastic. I was in Vegas Grill last night. They did tell me they're um, they're currently working on a uh, new website, a new booking system, uh, Instagram, Facebook, things like that. So it's going to be a little bit easier to book Vegas Grill. I'll give you a bit more info on that when it's done. But um, yeah, Vegas Grill is going to be a little bit easier to find out what's going on and going to get themselves on Instagram and everything, which has got to be done in this day and age. Facebook now, it's good for a bit of info, but everything is all Instagram and TikTok. Instagram and TikTok, massive. Uh, this isn't really near our bar, uh, Graham. This is about 10 minute, 15 minute taxi ride <laughs> from our bar. It is nice though, this is lovely. Lovely temperature. It's cooled down a little bit. 
how's the weather in April? Again, I've done a whole vlog on the channel uh, of every single month, weather-wise, the averages, the sea temperature, the nighttime temperatures, the daytime temperatures for every single month in the Canaries and Tenerife. So if you're interested in a particular month, what the weather's gonna be like, there's a vlog on the channel. Just uh, search Night Strider weather, it'll come up. But uh, generally, every single month is good. In general, you're gonna get warm, you're gonna be able to have a swim. Are uh, you doing any new hotel reviews? I'd like to soon, but difficult. Uh, what website do I go on to look and see if your apartments are available? Um, so it's on, if you literally just search for 151 Royal Palm Tenerife on Google, it comes up, it's holidayapartments.net is the website. That's the letting agent website. And you can see the calendar at the bottom. Uh, which was the first Tenerife Hard Rock Cafe? The cafe opened first and then they did the hotel. Uh, they, um, the hotel, it's they're quite the high rise hotels. You wouldn't be able to build them here in Las Americas, but they got away with building it in Playa Paraiso because they agreed to build all kinds for the community, basically, um, in building it. So they got permission to do it because they they um, sorted out a lot of things government-wise as well, building different stuff, putting money into different things. Uh, let's go back onto the view. Thank you very much for joining us, everyone. Happy Monday. I'm just currently in the Hard Rock in Las Americas. Uh, the Ava music is on the background. Yeah, well spotted, Eugene. Yeah, you're on it. Sorry, Abba fans, but I think they're overrated. So you go. Are they are they packing up? Are they are they unpacking? Are they? I can't tell what they're doing. They all seem a bit on edge after the the recent crackdown. But are, are they putting stuff out? Are they? I think I think they're putting stuff out, aren't they? We'll see what happens. Please say hi to my wife, Steph. Big fan. How's it going, Steph? Um, have you done Madeira? The vlog, is, the vlog is going to be coming up soon. I've just got to edit it. But yeah, we've got a good vlog coming from our cruise stop uh, in Madeira. If you're interested in a Canary Islands cruise, we have done one of those. Um, the vlogs are going up on the channel. We've done Gran Canaria, Lanzarote, Tenerife. We've got the Madeira vlog coming up from uh, that cruise. I live in Los Cristianos, Michelle, and I absolutely love it. I've come out of, I've got, I've got a hole. I have to, I have to drive to work. Normally, because I need the rental car that I'm in, because I just use whatever's free. But my drive to work takes me three minutes. It's a real trek, real trek. Now, I'm very, very lucky. I live very close to work. Three minutes I drive to work, or even if I walked, it would be five minutes. Uh, I live right next to my office, so three-minute drive. Uh, it's a two-minute drive to the bar, five-minute walk to the bar. So the bar and the car rental are right next to where we live. I literally walk out the door and they're there, uh, which is fantastic. Very lucky to have that. But yeah, I always joke about my commute with uh, my friends who commute into London every day. It takes them about an hour and 15 minutes and trains and all kinds. And I have a joke, I'm like, my commute this morning, the sun was blaring in my eyes and it was 25 degrees. It took me a whole three minutes to get in. <laughs> Sorry to anyone who does commute to work. <laughs> um, Let's see what else we've got going on. Wind was crazy today in Los Cristianos. Yeah, there was a bit of wind going on, a bit of a calima. It was a bit rainy, it was a bit cloudy. It was a weird day. We had sunshine, we had everything. Maybe if there was more police presence, there wouldn't be so many uh, bracelet people, potentially. Although I've got to say, there's none down there at the moment that I can see. Uh, what a life indeed, very lucky Dominic, very lucky indeed. Uh, can't wait to cruise around Tenerife in your VW convertible. Good stuff, Jess. Uh, it went out yesterday, or the day before it went out yesterday, that, that, that car. Nice and popular. However, I am, am I up something else? Am I up something, I've got to admit, am I up something else for the fleet? But we'll see if it comes off. I'll tell you, but if it doesn't come off, then it won't, yeah. There's, there's something, am I up something else? Someone is looking for something for me specific. 
I've got an agent looking for me. This is how specific it is. But something I've been eyeing up for a while. So we'll see if it comes off. Uh, why is Sanasti called Sanasti? You know as much as I do. Uh, the original owner, 45 years ago, came up with the name. No one knows what it means. Um, it doesn't translate into anything. But the name stuck. It's been there for that long that uh, obviously we kept it. So that's it. That's the story. Nothing exciting, I'm afraid. No one knows why it was called that, but it was. And it's, it's been going for 45 years here in South Tenerife. So long, long time. How's the Med Palace coming along? I mentioned it a little bit earlier, Fairy Boy. It was meant to open in March, it's been delayed to June. To be honest, in my opinion, I can't even see it opening in June, but fingers crossed. Uh, what ciders do you have in the bar? On draft, we've got Copperberg, and then in cans or bottles, we've got Magnus, we've got Strongbow, we've got other flavours of Copperberg. The full menu is on the Buddies Instagram page. So if you want to have a look at the full menu. Uh, when are you vlogging Fuerteventura? We've got no particular plans at the moment. I'd like to at some point. Let me just try and straighten up the camera a second. I've made that worse. One second. Let's try and get this view. There you go. The table's not straight, so the picture wasn't straight. There we go. Got a nice view now. Uh, me and my dad can't wait to taste some cocktails. Seeing the prices the other day, very reasonable. The prices vary with cocktails in Tenerife. It depends what you're getting. It depends where you are. We can only speak for ourselves. We just try and make the best we can with the best ingredients, proper alcohol in them, nice glasses, proper ingredients, fresh ingredients. So yeah, we do our best and the cocktails do go down very, very well. Might try the Med Palace for Christmas. It'd be nice, it'd be a nice new hotel when it opens. Uh, is it better to book the parks before I come over or book when I'm there? I think it's up to you. It depends how organized you want to be. Cyan Park, you can book it online. Um, it's pretty easy to do. So I'd probably just maybe book it when you're here, when you know what day you want to do it. going to Stradivarius I want to see what new clothes they've got and they've got um, a lot of sale on at the moment so there's not many new stuff in Jess it's, it's all the sales the dregs of the sales going on at the moment uh, will you be in Tenerife for the end of Feb I should well be William any other questions fire them away I'll be heading off soon I've got to meet up with someone at 8 o'clock. Uh, what do you mean about pop out So You can obviously use local spirits, so you can get, you know, the vodka. No, instead of using Smirnoff vodka, you can use the local vodka, which is much, much cheaper, but is it as smooth? Is it as nice? It depends on individual taste, I suppose, but we, all, we only use proper branded alcohol in the cocktails, so proper Midori, not the fake version. Or the, you know what I mean, the, the cheaper version will use proper Midori, the original will use proper Smirnoff vodka or absolute vodka uh, rather than the local vodka. Um, yeah, we'll only use proper branded alcohol, uh, the really good flavourings that you put in them, so Monin, the Monin syrups, the Monin fruit uh, syrups, they're quite expensive to buy, they're about 20 odd euros a bottle. And um, we'll use those proper monin rather than the cheapest um, syrups, which, in our opinion, don't quite add the flavour we want to. Uh, we'll use proper fresh strawberries, fresh, uh, proper fresh strawberry and limes. We basically buy them every day. Um, you know, proper, proper Southern Comfort, proper Disarano. We don't stock any of the the, the the cheaper stuff, the the local. I don't know how you how you explain it. There's Disarano, which is, you know, and then you can buy the cheaper bottles of Amaretto, which isn't the Disarano brand. We'll only use the proper branded stuff in the cocktails, basically. But it depends on your taste, it depends what you're into, that's just what we do. Every bar does it differently, every bar's doing a great job, everyone does it, has their own different style of things, their own different way of doing it, their own cocktail deals. 
it's very much each to their own. I can only speak for ourselves on what we do. Uh, and we've done it how we would want it. So we did our cocktails, how we like our cocktails, how Laura likes our air cocktails, how Laura likes doing them. But everyone does them different. Everyone's got their own style of it. Uh, are you do going to do a buddies night where we can all send you drinks like at the vault? That would not end very well, would it, Anthony? We're waiting on that system to be activated. We are going to have that remote ordering system. It's all set up. We're just waiting on approval from the bank. Um, and then that'll be all set and you'll be able to order drinks from at home. So if you've got a friend in the bar who's got a birthday at home, etc., you can send them drinks, etc., like that. Um, and you get what you pay for. It just depends what you're looking for as well, Neil. But for us, we're trying to use the best quality ingredients we can in the drinks and the cocktails. Uh, the hunt from Midori, that is quite difficult. We've, I think we've found a supplier for Midori now. We got offered all kinds of different variations of Midori, local versions, cheaper versions, but we wanted the original. It just doesn't taste the same. Uh, got a rare American classic in the UK if you're looking for something different. Uh, nice, Maria. It cost a lot to ship it over here, but I hope you do make use of it. How long does it take to walk from Las Americas to Los Cristianos? Depends on your pace of walking, maybe 45 minutes, an hour. Depends on how quick you walk. Uh, all the cocktails we tried, and we tried a fair few, our buddies were spot on. Thank you very much, Dave. We're always asking for feedback, and you know, we put all the little decorations on it, and the up all night now comes with a little lollipop and stuff. It's just good fun. Big shout out for Zocco. We had an amazing meal on Friday. We saw you and Laura's mum and dad. Uh, we didn't want to intrude. No problem at all, Heidi. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Love it in there. Proper Arabic food. Something different. And the chef in there has got a Michelin star. It's uh, really, really nice food in there. All cooked in the Josper oven as well, if you know what a Josper oven is. Well, I think I'm going to pay for my Corona and we'll have a little wander, I think, maybe, and finish it off, maybe down at the fountain. I need to get down on this, though. Um, so I'm going to ask you all a question. Everyone who's tuned in, 1,300 of you still tuned in, please do hit the like button. It doesn't cost anything, just helps out the algorithm. Favourite town out of Costa Radecki, Las Americas, and Los Cristianos, which is your favourite? Costa Radecki, Los Cristianos, uh, Las Americas, which is where we are now, or Los Cristianos, which is the best or your favourite? Uh, We've got loads, loads of comments going on, excuse me. Sharon straight in with a bit of Las Americas, Las Americas, Los Cristianos, each town's got their, their own different little vibe. Costa Radecki, Costa Radecki, Los Cristianos, see, everyone's got this, it's such a variation, Las Americas, Las Americas, quite a few Las Americas is going on, Los Cristianos, Los Cristianos, everyone's got their own little, Las Americas a bit more touristy, Los Cristianos a bit more traditional in a way, fishing village, harbour, Costa Radecki a bit more upmarket, more upmarket hotels, more five-star hotels. Depends what you're into. I'd say Las Americas so far is winning. Where to Cologne, that's Costa Radecki, Trisha. Uh, Las Americas, Las Americas, Costa Radecki. And uh, look at the variations, massive, massive variation. Couldn't pinpoint it, couldn't pinpoint it. Uh, apart from the places you mentioned, I love Santa Cruz, something different. A uh, client of mine went up yesterday, brought the car back this morning, he said, you're right when you describe it as like Barcelona, Madrid vibes. They're the vibes I get when I go. And he said, I, I agreed with you on that. It did feel a bit more like Madrid, Barcelona. It's got all the high rises, business buildings, big grand buildings, big infrastructure up there. I'll just show you the little menu they've got up here. So if you don't want to eat in the restaurant, you want to eat up here, a little snack. You've got like a little specials combo. Let me just zoom out. That would be good. So you can choose a starter. You've got little uh, mini tacos, wings, pepperoni flatbread, southwest chicken flatbread, and then you can have two dorada, two draft doradas, or a soda for 13.95. It's not a bad little deal up here. 
if you fancy that one day. Just have a little snack like that. A couple of drinks. Nice views. And job done. Uh, just saw a rescue helicopter in Las Americas Bay for about 50 minutes, not too sure. Uh, we've got no info on that. Hopefully nothing bad. Sometimes they have training exercises and stuff. Uh, so hopefully nothing bad. Fingers crossed. Well, I'm going to make a move. I need to pay my bill first, though. Which is a bit easier said than done. Easier said than done. Uh, you can guess a bit. I don't even know the price of a Corona. It's not going to be cheap in here, is it? But we've had some lovely views. Paying for the views and the music and the atmosphere and all the rest of it. I think it's going to be probably about, what do you reckon, eight euros? Excuse me? Sorry. Can I have the bill, please? Yes, Thank you. Uh, let's see. How's it going, Paul? Thank you for tuning in, everyone. Much appreciate you joining me here in Las Americas. We're above the Golden Mile. We've got some stunning views. Safari Center. I love them all, but couldn't imagine not going to Los Cristianos. There are too many bars and restaurants uh, that we frequently go to. Uh, fantastic, Mike. I agree. A lot of great restaurants there to uh, have a try of. Okay, Patricia reckons 550, Mary 8, Gary 650, 6 euros. Guess the price of my bottle of Corona then here at the Hard Rock rooftop. 550. Seven forty, six fifty. We're about to find out. All these people off to their meals, their reservations, off for a little walk, off to find a little drink somewhere. Seven euros. Okay. I think some of you might be shocked. Some of you might be shocked when the bill comes. See now, now we're fully dark for an hour or so, the temperature is dropping a little bit and I will be getting my little jumper out the car. It has dropped down. So for me, I'm feeling it as a resident, but for probably people on holiday, it's great t-shirt weather. But for me, I'm like, now I'm sitting still, I could just have a little jumper on, a little thin one. Now you're gonna go down to the fountain. Uh, what were you talking? I'm talking about the fountain in front of me. The fountain in front. I think you mean the fountain bar in Los Cristianos, don't you? Stu, I think you're dreaming with that price. Three euros 95. I think you're dreaming there. I think it costs about that to buy them in. <laughs> uh, Rachel, I spoke about Everton earlier. All I can say is um, two words. Well, three, Chelsea and Man City. That's all I can say. Look at the spend of those and then Look at what we're in for. Crazy. Crazy. Uh, if it's anything like Hard Rock in Glasgow, it's expensive. Every Hard Rock's not particularly cheap, is it? Wherever you go. Oh, oh yeah. Um, I've got to say, one of the best ones I've had, though, has been in Amsterdam. That was one of the best Hard Rocks I've ever had. Amsterdam. I tell you what, I've got the drinks menu here, actually. Let me show you some of the cocktails. I've just found it, found the drinks menu now, actually. Let's spin it around. Oh, there we go. We've got a Hurricane Caribbean Mojito. This is the one Laura likes. We've got them in the bar, Bahama Mamas. We've got one of those in Buddies. Different signature cocktails. So, cocktails in here are 10 euros 30, 10 euros 50 for some of them. Turn it over and show you the others. Yeah, they're all about 10 euros. Sparkling sangria. They are nice cocktails though. Again, you know, they use proper ingredients and proper cocktail makers making them. Oh, 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 I've got to skip that. I don't want people to see the price. Oh, yes, please, yeah. Okay, no problem. Uh, I'm going to do it with cash. 
nice and easy. There's that, and... There we go, that's fine. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Thank you. So there you go, it was five euros 30, not bad at all, was it? Tricked you all, thought you, thought you all thought it was gonna be more, didn't you? Five euros 30, with that view, it's not bad, is it? Cheers, everyone. Hit the thumbs up. That's all I ask, if you enjoyed the stream, much appreciated. Uh, can't be buddies for quality cocktails, minimal prices, we do our best, do our best. Obviously all the staff are on full proper contrail, co contails. Full proper contracts, holiday pay, insurance. There's so many different costs to it all, so. Um, but yeah, all the staff are well looked after, so. It's all in relation. Uh, what were you doing in Amsterdam? See, Liam, a lot of people have that attitude towards in Amsterdam. But I'm gonna stick up for Amsterdam a lot here because that's a tiny, tiny portion of Amsterdam, that is, that's probably, two or three streets of Amsterdam, the rest of Amsterdam is stunning. Don't be put off going to Amsterdam by what you see online, because that's probably two or three streets. Amsterdam is massive, it's got amazing museums, it's got amazing infrastructure, some stunning buildings to look at. Uh, the boat ride that we did all around Amsterdam was stunning. You can walk for miles and miles, you can ride bikes for miles, you've got uh, the ice bar there. If you haven't seen our Amsterdam vlogs, check them out but from what what you see online and what you hear it's really nothing like that yeah, that's a bit like saying tenerife is just like veronica's strip everyone sees veronica's strip a lot online and they go oh that's tenerife it's really not and the same goes for amsterdam a lot of people see all the you know all the clubs and all the rest of it it's really not like that it's a few streets of amsterdam not all of it and uh, it is nice that we did enjoy our trip to amsterdam we'd 100 percent go back to Amsterdam. Um, I guess where I'm going on Friday, going to Amsterdam, are you Dean? Possibly. Or are you going to the game? Is there a game on Friday? Is there ever a match on Friday? Right, Corona done. Let's head down. I'm going to mute you on the way down to avoid the music. So bear with me. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so here we are then, we're back out from Hard Rock and here are the bracelet guys. Black and white. I'm um, okay, thank you. So that's all you gotta do, just keep walking, no thank you and carry on. Straight away, I told you didn't I? Nice shoes, always with the shoes. So there you go, the bracelet guys are out now. Plainly they don't come out, Must, mustn't start the shift till nine o'clock, eight, nine o'clock. <laughs> but yeah, just, uh, just do what I did, just keep walking, just say no thanks. And then, um, they normally just sort of leave it. There you go, nice view of the fountain. Uh, busy for a Monday night. It is, isn't it? Just shows our great uh, tourist numbers. So yeah, there you go. Just be careful of them. They try and give you a bracelet and force it on your wrist and then they'll ask for money. You see, they talk to everyone. It's just something to be aware of. So, when I was talking about it, it was a bit quieter with all of this stuff from the crackdown that they had on Saturday. They're all back out and plainly the shift didn't start till half seven, eight. <laughs> Each to their own. A lot of people like all this stuff. It depends what you're into. The only thing I had with it is it takes up a lot of the walkway space. There's not much walkway space anyway. And the, the blankets cover a lot of the space for people to walk through. That's the main people th thing people mention. 
every night in Tenerife is a Saturday. It is indeed, Sharon. I like that one. I like that. Uh, okay, so done a lovely little bonus stream there. Really enjoyed that. There you go. It's a Mickey Mouse there. But what we're going to do, I think we'll round it off here. Thank you all very much for joining me. Much appreciated. Do please hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. It's all completely free to enjoy the videos on the channel. Uh, if you do want to comment on a future live stream as well, uh, you do need to be subscribed. Uh, so make sure you do that. And I'll be back again live possibly tomorrow, day after. We're always out and about on the channel. So if you want to see what's happening in Tenerife, do check us out. Uh, follow me on Instagram, the underscore Nightstrider. I post little sneak peeks of what I'm up to throughout the day, what the weather's like, etc. Uh, so do check me out on Instagram. And uh, also the Nightstrider Tenerife fan group as well. Fantastic Tenerife group on Facebook. Uh, go and join that one. We've got over 16,000 members in there now. And uh, great for info. But uh, there you go. Someone's saying hello. Uh, thank you all very much for uh, watching. Stay positive. Get it booked. And uh, stride on. Bye, guys. <laughs>